Found it like that. Is when I start recording. Watch the Ah, uh, leave it to the chucklehead. Wait, you get 30 FPS? I only usually get 15. I know, right? So he's gone so with two. Arms, I need to change it manually or what? Hi. So real quick, you, you're going to have to bring that Vic over because that lets you change oh, it if you nice. don't like the uh, kits. Yeah. Yeah. I'll You'll get an option uh... for pylons. Yeah, I report. I'll take the same loadout actually. Like uh, I'll take napalm rockets in case we see some radar. Yep, so again, you just got to drive that over here and then you can change it because it has to be within the field of the uh, aircraft. No problem. Yep. Should get an option then to configure its pylons under uh, the Windows key. Gotcha. Thank you, man. No problem. I'm really excited to see one of these in action, though. It's a gun to go go. They were only quote unquote experimental, but I just want to see this thing murder something, man. Yes, Iceberg is playing. I forget what slot he's on, though. Don't do the shit. So, all of these are the presets as well. But I think he's got these because I uh, I made a joke about having a, uh, whatchamacallit, spamming MIGs against Jax because he was talking, was talking, talking some mad shit. Yeah, I want to see the fun oh. helmet, sorry, continue. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, got, he's got coffee, sugar packets, yeah, cigarettes, wrong. and a magazine. You just like the traditional right. fucking helmet, man. Hey, yeah, never. but anyway, for about uh, a uh, year and a half. Oh man, I'm not high. Oh. Yep. Oh, wow. Let me go toss that on a body real quick because I don't need a short range. It's fine. Welcome on in. Also, it was the Don't worry. Don't worry about not knowing anyone. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. I sure as shit don't know you, but we're going to go along with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it bad that I can tell which one's barbarian from an aisle away? That's uh, digital. <laughs> Timo, guten Abend. Ground RTO, this is high common frequency six zero requesting a radio check over. Check. I got you loud and clear. Roger. Uh, break. Let me know when everyone's situated so I can uh, start us off with a brief and then we can get started with the scenario. Over. Any idea where the choppers are to change fire? Choppers are located on the bottom left of the airbase on the box with the sideways hourglass. That represents a helicopter marker. This is all explained in the brief. Oh. 
A whip uh, seems to be uh, That's quite a tough one. I looked it up. Like, I don't I don't know. Know. Yeah, it's I'm not going to ask. All right, well, I've officially started the recording part now. I'll take out the part that I'm nervous about this, but, you know. It's weird. This is probably like the sixth or seventh large-scale operation I've done for a dev or, you know, with a bunch of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers of, you know, prominence. And I still get a little nervous about it because I still am trying to put my best work forward. I'm always trying to evolve my craft. And I just want to make sure everyone has a good time. Well, no, the infinity symbol is planes. The hourglass is helicopters. So you have to differentiate, Broar. Um, short range check. Good check, short range. Good check. Thank you. Check us up. I think everyone's on one standard frequency, so um, make sure you check the briefing document and find yourself out where you need to be. But I want to stay on this frequency with everyone. I like confusion. Right, I don't want to feel lonely. <laughs> I, I don't think loneliness will be In hindsight, issue. I shouldn't have put preset radio. Okay, let me next. re spin this out as the platoon sergeant. Go and get yourselves on the correct frequency. But Digby, I don't want to. You've got an entire chopper full of people to keep you company, Dolly. But I don't want to. Um. Fine, everyone are except Dolly, go and uh, get yourself on the correct frequency. Okay then. Have a fun time, guys. Where's our GTAC? I'm just testing this. Cool. Are on the Google Doc. What squad are you? I can tell you. I've got it all. That's one hefty multi, though, and that should have everyone that's either going to stream or is currently streaming. But anyway, how are you all doing? Wee woo here. We got this tonight. We got a uh, kill cog tonight at about nine o'clock, which is in six hours. So, literally, my schedule today is Zeus this up. Go have a meeting with uh, Karma Cut over Killcog policies, stream Killcog, and then that might be it for me. Might play some Dark Side in the evening, or might get back in a daisy. We'll see. It's oh, you know, there's so much to do for me, and I am trying my best to keep up with all of it. <laughs> quickly check here how many people are actually in the TFAR channel. Alright. It's mostly full. Uh, I see, and there's also a mic force thing going off too. Oh, all oh, right, right, right. And then so I have an official record on the video. Where's Reco? Team, my man. There's one player, I think, in the command team I'm supposed to drop mortars on. Because he told me that that just happens to him. And I went, like, OK, cool, we can do that. I don't mind. But if you see a guy named Reco, yeah, this guy, uh, this guy, Renko. I got to drop artillery on his ass. Absolutely. I'll, I'll do it for, I'll do it for one. Just a Clearing bodies. All right, there's Mr. Head Honcho of Savage himself. I want him in here to watch the video, too, so. Though I will admit, it was literally, I think, 1 or 2 a.m., and I was just slaving away at this damn thing. And I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with it. I just want to make it, like, a historical... 
uh, reference piece or do I want to actually uh, make it something that ties to the brief? And I'm like, you know what? This is a massive public thing uh, in a way, so I think I'm just going to tie it to the brief. So it's, it's both. I went with a few different drafts, and I'm like, all right, now we can just do it this way. But yeah, if you've uh, seen any of the recent Starship Trooper ops, uh, I want to say the half that do have the videos, you'll you'll be very familiar with what I'm going to run. Or if you've seen a dig be out from start to finish, you'll be very familiar with what's going to happen in terms of uh, that feature. But after that, I give them some time to set up, and then we uh, push them. I think what I can also start setting up in the meantime... Is some Overwatch AA positions here. Is that a single? Wow. That's new. That's a single ZU. No, it's a 14.5. Oh. Uh huh. That's kind of neat. Start setting up some AA positions at the edges of the AO. I don't want to do full-on ZPUs this close because I don't want to put the helicopters under too much threat, but... Those are tractor-based. All right, so I can only do one of those, and the rest can be simple statics that are rolled in. And then further out here, I can set up. These puppies. Group them all together so they consume less framage. get one single one over here and if I need to I can always manually refuel them and start having them try to drive around and adapt that should be good I don't want to render too much of the map though not yet anyway Having ambient gunshots in the distance. Yeah, there's a certain group of sound files I can always play as well. It's just I don't always like... It doesn't work for every op, but some of them it does. This, this is why we use the roads, guys. This is the second time I've had to fix this. There we go. Because everyone knows that's how the GIs did it. <laughs> uh, players will be players. You just dropped dead. Oh, can you hear me? Special? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I want to meet him with a squad leader. I'm guessing that we're going to give a bit. Yep. We're ready, Leo. Okay. okay. Or at least we're about to get ready, I guess. And what we've got going on. So you want to call it one of your injuries? Uh, sorry, come with me again. But Leo is not leaving now, so yeah. Uh, we'll just figure it out uh, how we go. Why? But, there is boxes around where you can take more. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to map the blue box, the blue. Mario Kart. That's where they are. Yeah. Cool. Whiplash, Khan, Timo, uh, I'll pass this on to Rob as well when, once he's here. If you see any likely avenues of attack, the respawn is over here, if I recall correctly, but. We'll see it in a second. <coughs> Thomas kicks off. Have we got a medic? I'm pretty sure he's You've lost a lot of blood and you're in severe pain. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to the zoo. Ah, there we go. Thank you, almighty God. <laughs> Sorry, you pinned me just as Nem pinned me too, so I was talking with him. Was it was a hundred meters of being shot? That's my question. I, I drove a mule through the company area. Oh, That's oh, it. No, sorry. Thank you, God. from Steve. Uh, of course it was for fucking Steve. Shuckleheads. Yep. Yep. There we go. That's the right. Let's gather all over. Steve Press. Yeah. 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 I'm also going to mute my music for a second. My chat up because I remember it. I was uh, using my OBS last night. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Pick you and uh, Digby out as white. You can stay as white. It's still distinctive. No, 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 no. You stay as white. In the northwest corner of South Vietnam. Nestled among 4,000-foot-high mountains, steep ravines, and thick jungle foliage, rests the small valley of Khe San. At this time in history, it is calm and peaceful. But from January 21st to March 31st, 1968, it was the scene of one of the most bitterly fought and highly publicized battles of the Vietnam War. For 70 days and nights, a determined group of 6,000 Marines and Allied troops held out against a besieging force of 20,000 North Vietnamese. Was Khe San worth it? Why did the U.S. military command feel it necessary to defend this outpost? This is its story. everyone and thank you for attending today's operation. Now, for our player count, it's difficult to recreate the entire battle, so instead we will be focusing on a specific section. The spawn point will be about right here. Alpha's designated position will be marked, as well as Bravo's. Charlie and Delta, you get the shorter end of the stick. Tank crews, their tanks can be located here at the armor marker with the oval and they can be deployed anywhere in the map. The focus of the AO is going to be roughly in this section, with a little bit of extra around Bravo's position to watch for anything coming down here. Air assets are in two separate positions. Helicopters, down here, and the F-100Ds with the planes, right there. All of these positions, both on the ground and for armor, which by the way the mortar crews also spawn here, have a triple R vehicle for them to repair, refuel, and rearm. If, for whatever reason, those are destroyed, spare ones can be found at this marker. There are additional vehicle storage sites located here and here, as well as additional statics located in tents over here. If you need additional supplies, you can look for these symbols, these rectangles with lines underneath, 
and they will contain both medical and ammunition in tents near the area. Respawn positions for infantry are located near Bravo. Respawns for every other group are going to be located on the marker. So for armor, here. Planes, here. And helicopters, here. The additional blue four infantry markers are just there for show and don't actually represent anything. Otherwise, your operation is to simply hold the airfield of Kisan until the enemy breaks off their attack. Thank you so much for celebrating the SOG 1.3 update with me. And I oh. oh, I'll let you see in the full no, video later. So that's not a new fucking thing. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Seamless. Yeah, I'm really Looks like we're gonna be right. I'm breathing. I am so happy that you are the UHD of Big Brahma. Uh, <laughs> yes, again, I did do that for Digby's operation. I learned it from Digby playing under Digby's off, and then I looked into it myself. There's supposed to be another two seconds where I thanked everyone for playing, and then I trailed it out with a little bit of music, but. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get that in. The reason it was in 480p is because that video alone was 69 megabytes. Uh, actually, in, in uh, as an MP4, it was 49 megabytes, but then you have to convert it into an OGV file, which turned it into 69 megabytes, and I can't take it past 100 megabytes because then people can't download the mission file. So, good check. Good copy. Okay, this is uh, Trevor Shea, uh, M125 Motor Carrier Online. So I have to do it in 480p, uh, because if I do it in 720, the file becomes too big, and uh, then I can't play it on the RTO mission file itself. So there's not much I can do about that. Anyway, I'm going to give it a Good few minutes. Red Rider. Actually, no, I'm not going to tell him about the mines. I can find that later. Um, so it's a limitation there with uh, that, and I decided again... Uh, between what to do in that video. I want to do a little bit of an homage to, uh, or homage to what the battle was, and then RTO actually give him the brief to just make it easier. If this was my community, for example, I'd probably just, you know, do it as a pure montage, but... Holy fuck. That's gonna be an issue if people get disconnected because of how they set up the TFAR channel, and I'm probably going to get on NEM for next time to make sure it can be automated instead. But regardless, when you have a player base that's a collaboration of a bunch of different communities and whatnot, I think it's just best to use a video to standardize everything. What's a server address? I'm going to kill NEM. <laughs> for me. It might have been Whiplash's idea too, but that's fine. Ah, oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you can find someone to get the password and server stuff, Sunzi, then by all means, I guess you can. As long as they didn't use a reservist to fill your slot, too. Because they, they've had a lot of people come in last second, so, you know. set correctly and whatnot. We'll see if they want to explore and take these other positions. Give it another few minutes and I'll start dropping artillery. Because I think they're still making their defensive plan and whatnot. I mean, I just have a simple rule of once I start Zeusing Sunzi, I can't help you. Because I have to focus on all the people that, you know, came into the op and showed up on time. I can't be perfect. I also want to see this quad 40, though. Oh, man, I put that over here because I'm like, you know, it would be really funny if I put that out there and we just saw that all happen. Let the player base get a bit ready and then I'll start dropping heat on them. It's not a uh, 40 millimeter, it's a quad 50. 
Was I saying it was a quad 40? My bad. It's quad 50. Look, I will admit I also stayed up till 5 a.m. last night because uh, Blood Wayne uh, left through Dulles International to go to Brussels and then transfer over to Denmark. So I was just making sure that she landed and was safe on her two flights. So I'm a little slow right now. But it'll pick up. Yeah, it's an M45 quad mount. Yeah, if you do uh, exclamation point multi, Falcon keeps dying, you can uh, see all the handles of everyone that's actively streaming this op. There's uh, quite a few names in this operation. Putting a few ranging shots. Well, first, let me set up some RTOs. Let's see. You pin? Oh, Hello, sir. Um, slight issue with radios for the personnel carrier. Uh, when I'm turned out, I can use the radio, but when I'm turned in, I can't. So I'm requesting a backpack radio so I can use either. Yeah, stand by. Thank you very much. Here, just take mine. You sure? Yeah, I can always spawn myself another one quicker. Um, That's something I'm going to have to tell Whiplash then, because at that point, that's a, that's an asset issue with compatibility. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when I'm in, I'm yep. it on speaker. So yep. That I can hear. They'll have to uh, do something with the SOC compatibility patch then for Ace, because I... Actually, that's a TFAR issue, not an Ace issue, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, if you need anything else, let me know. Everyone's laughing, having a good time. I'm gonna go in this bunker because the op's about to begin. H, uh, Delta HQ. Set. But hold until uh, and hold until following orders. Delta copies. All squads, this is JTAC. Designation for calls for, fight, for air support will be made directly to JTAC. If you require air assistance, I'll ask you guys to pop red smoke where you need them when I call up for it, okay? Can I get confirmation from squad leads? Travel card. Delta card, please. I got multiple RTOs to call up shots. Uh, some rate will be off these means, figures two. Uh, redirect everything through my RTO. Out. Put a few shots out there, adjust by fire. Again, I got my RTOs watching. Delta, we're being bombarded.
hello again from Austria and thanks for the entertaining streams. Officer Berger, thanks for the nine month resub. Hope to we'll join Delta, the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario, to Broski. Position to secure the northwest side and hold for Charlie. Delta, Charlie, HQ. Send it HQ. Uh, you are now free to move to your positions outside the wire. Together. Copy, platoon. Delta is going to hold that Alpha's position and wait for Charlie. Roger. Whenever you're set up, uh, go ahead and uh, move out. Delta is holding and waiting for Charlie. Oh, in the game of chess, you always let the pawns go first. Enemy is dropping uh, CS on Bravo position. My tracer script not working. There it is. Delta, Delta. 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 Delta, do not go out from where you're looking, there are mines in front of you. Send a JTAC. Actually, I don't have to count the eights for these. These are 60 millimeters, so I can fire them at spare seconds of four. Charlie, Delta, this is JTAC. The marked position on map is set to be striped by air, but DC in the position. If you got any guys there, pull them back. Cheers. This is HQ to all commands. All ground commands. JTAC, this is Delta. Delta copies. We're still holding at half a position with Charlie. A firm at red line with arrow is set to be struck by air. Do not have anyone near it. Cheers. Excuse me. Delta copies. Delta, this is HQ. Uh, HQ sent. Uh, I'm gonna be working the mortars, so any call for fire needs to come through me. 
you are able to mark PRPs, but please tell me uh, when you're marking them. Good copy. Uh, Alpha, this is HQ. Enemy vehicle, BTR-40 west of travel position. If we could get a strafe on that, it's... I can't mark it right now. Back on the road. BTR40 on the road. Radio check over. BTR40 on the road. Uh, going on route 10. Hello, Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie. Uh, Delta oh, call sign. Oh, no. Over. no! No! Call that guy off, man. Oh, no! <laughs> Delta, short. the F-100 was friendly fire. Delta, this is zero. Radio check over. Holy shit! Say again? Right. Delta, are you ready to launch up to that trench to take it out? Hey, firm, and like I said before, do not go out where you at, because there's mine in, mines in front of you. Roger, are you looking into the road? We're standing by a alpha position, your right side. Roger, I've got Charlie with me and so it was just, uh, Charlie Lee has, has just disconnected so we currently just don't have a summary for them. I'm going to have to attach him onto you temporarily. Okay, copy. Tell them to come my way to the... Charlie and Delta is moving out. All stations on net. Um, Alpha Bravo has commandeered one time speed car. Christ. 5 0 check. As I swear to God. Yeah, comms are a mess here. So far, so good. I'm gonna let the first wave start to die down a bit, give them a little moment of uh, rest here, and then really put pressure Bravo, on the flank you. right Call here. Back. J attached wall squads. Which squads are outside the wire currently? Bravo, Go ahead, this wire. Yeah, fucking, can you pop a non-red smoke and keep it near your position? I've got air coming in so that they're not going to bomb you this time. Cheers. JTAC-7 popping. That's also a miss pain. Here's the guns of go, -Go coming in. JTAC-7 popping. Alpha smoke. 3 a better position than coming down the road. Hell yeah. You gotta be careful they don't fly too far north though, because MIAA is gonna start hitting them, but I think they're focusing on the aircraft that uh, buzzed earlier. Yeah, so now you see some stray fire coming in. Kill box Okinawa. A little worried. 
worried about the frames I get at some angles. That might just be the smoke effects that get popped up here, but... Alpha, I need better... RTO 7 with Charlie and Delta. We are stalled at Grint Apollo 091990711. We're pushing now for the Charlie and Delta markers. Over. Roger. Understood. Theoretically, they shouldn't see anything from this angle. We have VC in the wire at this point though, and I think infantry are going to be stalling because of the aircraft. Tanks, I think, are stuck on the rear here because of that air asset. Of course, the medic was the one that got hit by that the worst. I had to mess with my boys a bit. I can path that up a bit better. All right, let's get the important units down. Now we're starting to go into the official forces here. M60 wins. So they chucked some grenades in this and killed a majority of them off the bat, which is quite nice. But now they're trading with, uh, wow. A lot of grenades going in. One time. But we all know we was a sore loser. All right, put more uh, stuff on the outskirts to come in. Delta, this is HQ. And then I'll start switching the PAVN in about 18 minutes. Delta, this is HQ, call back. Do I still have any of my tanks up, or were they annihilated early on?
Yeah, it looks like they got hit. Here, actually, we're gonna waypoint them at the same time, so maybe they'll keep some sort of uh, convoy formation here. Yeah, something. HQ Delta. Something's causing frames to die. And I honestly don't know what. Did they finally move everything to 60? Delta, are you set to move up to your position? of T-54. All right, majority of these are properly hit here. Let's throw an MI-2 at them. That would be under PAVN. A little early to start putting artillery or helicopter pieces in, but... Good hit, Cayuse. Thank you. No, no, the Cayuse just hit the tank. No, I'm definitely on the tougher side here. Yeah, I mean, the server might have also lagged because Sunzi was coming in and downloading the mission file because that takes a lot of focus because it's a 69 megabyte file. But from here, I'm just kind of letting units trickle in at this point. I'm prepping a second wave. All stations, all... All stations are set, all stations are set. There is enemy aircraft. Come on, Hellraiser. One of the tents got flattened. Yeah, this just gives infantry the opportunity to get on the quad 40s if they want to, or quad 50s. It's when I look back there that it lags. That's weird. Oh boy. It turned into improvised artillery. All right, now I'm gonna start fielding some bigger assets in the field. guns got. That's funny. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, this is HQ. Can I get a sit rep for all of you? Alright, I'm gonna have it go on the crossroads here. Roger. That'll require artillery to take it out. Another three minutes and I'll start prepping another wave. Enemy T-54, Northwest Charlie. Bravo. Uh,
Alright. Kill those or kill those or this stage here. Kill those are you on five zero? I think half the assets are on 5-0 and the other half on 6-0 because it's a little confusing to see what's, uh, what's what. Charlie or uh, Delta, what radio channel are you on? Uh, this is a kill dozer. We're now on five zero. There we are falling back to base to repair. Trebuchet, radio check five zero. Good check. Can you hear me? Five zero. Good check. All right. I don't know what hit Drewski up there. It could have been the tank. Could have been an assortment of almost anything, really. Hard to say. I'm doing individual unit spawns at the moment, trying to teed the server to see if it's the AI groups causing the lag or something else. I think it's something else, but I want to confirm. Six zero that I see is disabled. Roger, there was another one going down the same path. You got it on two five uh, two five two. He should be coming out on the road at two five two. Set up for him. Yeah, I just saw the uh, splash from his uh, cannon. Go to the two five two. Set up for him. The T fifty five is at two five five. See if you can hit it at two five five, uh, kill us. We currently have smoke and a tree in our way. Roger. Get him, Mr. AK man. Once again, I'm going to try to murder this one guy in the sentry bent, uh, position here. It's probably not gonna work out, but hey. Just so he knows. Where's Delta at? 
Someone's thing broke. Uh, this is Trevor Shannon, 5 0. I'm in support on. Fire one round at uh, Ruth Pendleton. I will adjust. Oh! Oh, the T-54 just sniped the... Holy crap! Uh, this is Trevor Shea, be advised, we just took a pound in from something, sniped by a tank, not sure, we're out. Damn. I think next time, too, I would want something for body cleanup. Go ahead, Alva. Go ahead. Trebuchet. Nah, I'm going to manually drive this uh, guy. Trebuchet, be a We just got knocked down by I'm not sure what. We were sick back in the and uh, off. All forces, one time C 54 southwest of Bravo on the road. Just the scarab. Has it not been five minutes since that bird went down? Because that's a little concerning. They Go should ahead. all be set to five minute timers. Go ahead. Uh, if you look on mortars a request for alpha, do you think you could shell that for me? If the mortars are down. Throw some traces on it. We'll start shelling with AG. All right. What else does Liru have in the little bag of tricks right here? So far, so good with this operation. I'm sorry if I'm a little slow. It's just I got a micro pretty much three or four different fronts at the moment with support assets, so... In the back of my head, I'm just going like, all right, what do I want to hit next? How do I want to smack him? Yadi da. Okay, this is. Uh, tr oh. Am I on the right now? I think I am. Trevor Shay on 5 0. Ready to mess each other. attack wave on here. Hit him with some smoke. Uh, this is Trevor Shale, 5 0 be advised. We're back on station. We pulled out one of the uh, spare M125s. Uh, ready for tasking. I think the easiest group is actually the one on uh, Overwatch here, but they also get all the fun statics to play with. And then you have that tank over yonder. Probably gonna start focusing on smaller groups of infantry because grenades seem to defeat them rather easily. Oh wow, they're putting Willie Pete's rounds down range as well. I think a 
bomber MIG would be a bit mean. Trebuchet, this is zero. You, you up yet? Uh, eight firm. We're up. That's exactly why we're gonna send one. Yeah, the 54 kind of drove uh, around. Can you Delta. Yeah, we're up. This is giving them uh, something to target with air, though, so that works out. Um, this is Killdozer. We are returning for resupply. We're pretty much out of all of our shells. Hello, base split. Hello, base split. This is zero over. I'm thinking let's do one more round of gradual spawns and then we'll uh, die Delta, down a bit, prep another zero. attack I'm wave. I'm calling in our artillery for you as long as you're good with that. Roger. Delta, this is JSAC. Uh, trebuchet, you got that? Uh, nope. Negative. If that was the pilot shooting out. Five zero. Uh, Roger. I need one round in effect. Delta. The TRP three. Oh. Here, Delta. <laughs> Is that just one round? I over? crashed one into round there. Of high explosive. Yes, I will adjust off of that. Hey, for one round of high explosive TRP three. Stand by. Okay, one Woo! round of way. TRP three trebuchet. Time to splash. Eighteen seconds. All right, I gotta do one more attack on these guys and make it make it nuts. JTAC sent to Delta. Trebuchet round complete. Uh, looks like we've had a splash here. Uh, let us know if you need to go. Roger. Oh, hold. That was uh, good. If anyone says BS on me, by the way, for spawning, I'm so close. Uh, a president I've always had in these ops is I have tunnels everywhere in the tall grass. And there's a lot of proof that they uh, use tunnel the networks to the tanks? tanks can be rearmed back at where you got them from from break the supply mix over. Roger. Break. In incomplete transmission. I heard six rounds high explosive, but no call sign. I need six rounds AG rolling from TRP three to TRP four Delta's position. Six rounds, HE rolling, TRP-3 to TRP-4, standby for fires, trebuchet out. This is trebuchet, rounds on the way, 27 seconds. Yeah, grenade's gonna... Oh, that was a perfectly placed Willy P grenade, that's gonna screw with their pathing. Throw on time acceleration for a little bit. Trebuchet, splash. Oh, hit him here. Yeah, the scene where I, I don't want to directly kill him though, that's going to require me to RC, but. Because these bigger events, you know, you're just here to Zeus. You don't want to directly bully anyone because that Delta pisses people all. off. Delta all splash. But if the AI could with like a Bangalore or something, I totally would. Those rounds are way off. Trebuchet, trebuchet, this is uh, zero. Go for trebuchet. I need you 100 meters closer. Yeah, I rushed him. Uh, He's firing out of these units. Hmm. 
this is Trebuchet to zero. Danger clothes authorized. Over. Authorized. A firm. Four rounds HE rolling out. TRP. No, hold, three, hold, TRP. Hold, artillery. Cancel artillery. Hold. Hold Trebuchet. Hold Trebuchet. Fire mission aborted. I love how. I think. That gun is a little too active, and then this guy flips because he's a chucklehead. If it becomes attainable, sure. It's right behind him. Mark it on the map where you want this bus to go. Yeah, Roger. Danger close. I'm just showing you I can if I want to, all right? I'm just showing you that uh, I can hit their air assets, but the Guns of Gogo can tank that type of ammunition, so if I wanted to hit something a little more serious, I would, but it's not needed. A little worried about simply respawn should be working, but... He might have a little bit of a, of a yeah, tail so rotor issue, right there, but he can land pretty much anywhere and uh, get repaired up, so. Yeah, they just need the repair, Vic. Delta, are you all right? For a full repair, but otherwise they can uh, get that all properly sorted. So this is just so I can clean up bodies. But it does freak him out, which is quite funny. some pressure on them nonetheless. But it's a nice little immersive trick. I'm going to stop the game clock at uh, 1700 because that'll put us at 5 o'clock. doing a preemptive strike.
I still have my artillery position, therefore. Let's do our more ambient groups in the distance first. And then I want a reinforcing line of tanks. I'm also trying to think what else to put in. Do I have any lighter anti-aircraft vehicles to work with? That's the real question. Probably not. I do have a mortar vic, but I already have those mortar positions, so those are fine. I've got these puppies that can plink at air. Where do I want to deploy them? Tanks, let's have deploy from over here. Let's do some medium tanks. Nothing too heavy this time around. Besides, as soon as they detect air, they're going to slow down anyway. Northeast looks clear. Let's heard a helicopter spool down. Killdozer, left. This is Killdozer, go ahead. Uh, move your gun left in contacts uh, to run 309. And now let's begin the micro pushes. This is Trebuchet, that was a broken transmission. Was that meant for us or a different call sign, over? Not you, Trebuchet. Okay, good copy. Yeah, for this, it's definitely the smoke effect causing that lag. It'll just, uh, this is why I gotta do individual attacks and not large attacks, so the smoke is also a big factor. Delta's retreat. What retreat? Trebuchet, this is zero. Zero, trebuchet, send your traffic. Trebuchet, I need six rounds HE 25 meters uh, in spread to the northeast of PRP 5. Infantry in the open. Hey, firm, uh, can I get a reread on distance from TRP 5? Over. Uh, 50 meters northeast of TRP 5. 25 meters spread for the shell. Six rounds H. Six rounds HE, 50 meters northeast of TRP 5. Stand by for mission. 
Command Hell Razor, we have enemy tanks incoming west. Away, 20 seconds to splash. Most of my forces getting massacred here. Rounds complete. Trebuchet, this is zero. Has, has that fire been shot? Hey, firm. Rounds are in the air. Looking at about 10 seconds to splash on all rounds. Over. Zero, fire mission complete. So when you do an artillery strike, you always start it on the outside away from the players for them to get, the attention, uh, to get their attention. And then you can start creeping the rounds in. But because oh. I have multiple artillery pieces here, I can blend this all in quite well. But yeah, no, the player artillery is also working out pretty well. And then if I really want to go ham, I can juggle two spots at the same time. <laughs> I love that I'm able to pretty much make these guys uh, hunker down as quickly as possible here. Kill those or kill those or to your left, you got a tank. Now they're calling out all of these uh, positions here that they're hitting. I still have my point defense down. Let me get my MIs in play here. Another helicopter wave. Tank is good. You gotta be careful when you spawn the bigger assets like that because sometimes they won't spawn properly and then they'll blow themselves up and it's like, ah, uh, wah. Have I hit Rocker? Ah, uh, no, I have not. But I assure you, the artillery will hit uh, anyone that's not paying attention. I think I'll do a few more uh, small point attacks, and then we'll uh, graduate into the night fighting. I just want to make sure the helicopters hadn't broken or anything. This is Trebuchet, Trebuchet to zero. Be advised, I've got eyes on an MI2 over the AO to the west. Uh, it's up high there with the sun. Yeah, Roger, we're taking care of it. Yeah, the other one never respawned, so I don't know what happened with that.
Delta, this is Charlie. We are getting overrun in our position. Say again for JSOC. Copy, Sock. Already rolling in. Charlie, do you need support? So you can hear the local comms on the other net. Here, if we want, we can switch to that one. This is Delta. Delta is pulling back. Delta is pulling back. Roger. Bravo to Platoon. Platoon, do you copy? Let's see. Anyone copy on 60? Roger, Delta. Uh, yeah, it's clear with command. Pull back. This is Charlie, Any unable to at the moment. Anyone copy on 60? Yes, we copy you, Karen. Alright, I need a fucking resupply for the quad, uh, quad 50. If, if uh, there's people that can do that. Charlie, this is Delta. Delta is moving to your position now. Watch your fire. Hey, firm. Did the infantry I sent against the tank come down here instead, or maybe I misordered them? Whoops. Oh well, I've got the trickling forces coming. Thinking one or two more lines of uh, pickets, and that should be good. MI2 landed right there, good god. Delta, this is Charlie. Contact seems to have lightened up, although still seems sporadic. How uh, come? Stand by Charlie, you need to repeat traffic. Charlie to Delta. Uh, I think we we still need medical help and some backup, but I think we propelled the BC attack. <laughs> now this is gonna get interesting. Uh, Delta, Delta Charlie, this is Zero. I'm calling in artillery for you guys. You, you're getting pushed uh, hard from your north. They'll never see it coming. Alright, what can I delete out here in the uh, ambience of fire? He's pulled back out of the corner. Delta, this is Charlie. Be advised, uh, we're getting cut off from airfield support. My squad has eyes on four squads pushing up the hill to the airfield at this time. Oh, they're shooting back out into Heavy here. Armor wet. That was the wrong thing. No one saw that. No one saw that. That was the wrong marker. <laughs> yeah, this is why I sometimes hate this menu, because I might grab the wrong thing. Thankfully, like, everyone was looking away. Oh. That was kind of funny, not gonna lie. I feel that was alpha. No one's back here, right? Below. 
Yeah, Air just dropped a massive strike right here. Good God. What do we have down there? I think that's another MI2 that's crashed. Oh, so much micro on the map. Hellraiser, this is zero. Can I get a sit rep? Something for their two jets to square off with. These are smokes. Yeah, dedicated server. Hey, son, they're pushing up onto the barbed wire. Little big <laughs> drove up here, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna withdraw the attack. Only smoke a handful of uh, areas that I absolutely need to clean up bodies on. Set to defend only. Oh, but where's the fun in that? Charlie, this, this is HQ. I need to switch. This is zero o'clock in it. Charlie and Delta call sign. I need you to re retreat back towards the uh, seven to green smoke marking over. I have no uh, idea where this is going to go. Uh, Charlie, Delta, I need you to pull back oh. towards the green smoke in the sap. That, uh, you're currently occupying behind you. Oh, I thought that would explode in like a, a fuel blast. Okay. It starts huh. to become very untenable on that, so I'm going to reforge us and uh, we'll, we'll work on the oven. Delta, go ahead and fall back. Sure, we will hold and defend, and we'll fall back in two minutes. Red on red, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All stations, all stations, be aware we have got enemy mix in the uh, uh, Make sure you're not out in the open. That was overkill for like one dude. <laughs> they think that was friendly though? <laughs> Charlie, so for the record, we do have flare launchers in here. Your team ready to pull back? A firm, I was waiting for you to fall, to fall back so we could do a staggered fallback. But if you want to just go now, we can. Copy. Go, go, go for it. Go, go, go. A firm, uh, we'll get. Yeah, we're picking up Digi. I'm not trying yeah. to murder them. Oh. I don't know what the hell that was about. Delta, this is Platoon HQ. HQ Delta. I think they're setting up more mines. Charlie, this is Platoon HQ. Call. I need you to pull back to that green smoke right now. That's a birdie order from.
Just give them some ambience as they run. Let them know the mines are doing some work. You for Bravo. Zero send over. Let's just check, thank you. Unit cap, uh, that's okay, Bravo, that gets fixed uh, in one Charlie script anyway. Call signs. Uh, as night falls, try not to use colored flares in order to mark positions. Try to use white flare only. Over. Charlie copies. Bravo will use red flares only for enemy vehicles. Negative, do not use colored flares just in case we believe that is the enemy. Use white flare only. White lights only. Over. Alright. I'm gonna bump it up to 20 because I'm trying to have it gradually get darker. But I don't want it to be super instantaneous, you know? So some picket attacks in the evening. Uh, can we not? Uh, no Hell, Hellraiser, this is zero. I think I just hit their own dudes, that's why. I need you to stay in that position, supporting uh, Charlie and Delta. Roger. By now, our artillery should be pretty dialed in. Are you in the rock? Yeah, you're in the rock. Send over. Uh, this is Alpha. Are you aware of any illumination capabilities of the water over? A firm. We are currently uh, having uh, call signs pulled back within the perimeter. Uh, we'll be getting up illumination shortly. Over. Yeah, okay. Requesting illumination now. Alpha position over. Zero. It's open to do a suicide charge. 
Wow, well, the grenade actually didn't hurt anyone. Well, it hurt, but it didn't kill anyone. Alright, I can use this now to clear the board. Give him a breather. That's one thing that, uh, there, there's two types of defense ops I do. I do ones where I give them breathers for them to Defog on, yeah. take a second and then, you know, charge in. And then there's onslaughts where I just constantly spam everything. And those are great to do for smaller scale operations, but the larger ones, you have to let the server breathe and catch up and everyone get their frames. Otherwise, they're going to complain that they're playing a constantly laggy mess. So right now, we're just doing unsupported picket lines. And air is being quite quick to dump everything on me. nice about this is that they don't have any night vision capabilities, so I can spawn and delete with almost near impunity. And wherever they do flare, I just don't spawn. There's just something constantly cooking off over there, and I don't know what it is. alive with the sound of tracers. I'm thinking the one thing I should be doing to try to beat those Vicks back is let's put up some... It's not too, too heavy at the moment, so what I can do is let's uh, start up with a few tanks. This is... Uh, zero to Alpha and Bravo. You are getting eight rounds of elimination across uh, the tree line I think that was a to the west on the green arrow. It, they will come down periodically. Roger. Uh, uh, Bravo, do you think? Say again for Bravo. Bravo, you are getting elimination on the green arrow medically through the night. Push that back. HQ, this is Alpha. Send over. Uh, Alpha currently engaging enemy AA position with a red, a correction, with a red uh, tracer. Um, if you oh, want they're to firing at this thing. thing over here. I'll engage in the AA position. I'm sorry, say again, Alpha. Did you mean to pin me? Alpha's engaging AA position. Uh, with the rest of the train, if you want to take the uh, tank and fire on this. Yeah, the tank is fine. Yeah, the control's wide, but it's blue now. All right, try a full repair off the Vic, and if that doesn't work, then uh, ping me and I'll manually fix it. 
I could not hear him over the net. <laughs> he says the tail rotor's a little stiff. Alpha, can you mark the position roughly of the AA position? Now, let's begin the night attack. Uh, position north, northwest, apparently one click Killed behind. The I have a uh, tasking for you. Kill those drive attack. On Spetsnaz. Well, we are trying to cover the liaison attack to get into their cage. They're smacking the convoys I'm trying to send in. Yeah, uh, you have have vehicle. The GL effect with the smoke is also causing frame loss. Roger, bravo, we're taking care of it. HQ, this is Delta, we're pulling back. We've lost our medic and uh, other guys. Hey, uh, I'll get uh, Charlie to provide you with a fire. Copy, pulling Be back now. Word, there is currently a minefield between you and Charlie, though. Uh, <laughs> my 7 is currently trying to unfold the situation. Yeah, you can pull back, just, we have a minefield Coming there. <laughs> uh, Ooh, I got uh, other tanks shooting at him too. Nam, baby. Focus coming in through lines right now. Timing wise, we got about another 20 minutes on the game clock. If, I don't, if you want to locate yourself for Dr. Charlie and cash location as well, we'll get you a uh, My barbed wire. Smoke will still work. Oh, well, that's gonna work. It's the same unit. Uh, I also spawned some crewmen in on accident, that's funny. Occasionally delete a burning wreck to let the ambience keep. Something caused people to bail out. I think that's a dead pilot. Maybe we lost an air asset. All the spares are still fine, though. We still got the uh, planes. Might have been one of the planes, though, because uh, I only see two on the ground with one pilot, and there's four total, so I think a plane went down. Statics have been taking a beating. Place to put pressure.
Still hear that weird rocket effect over there from an airstrike. I think it just desynced it out. Let's go ahead and put a wave of helicopters in. That, let's be honest, probably won't do anything. HQ, this is Delta. But I can try. T-54, I don't think, got close at all, unfortunately. Yeah, so, okay, that is an F-100D that uh, crash-landed. With all the smoke and illumination effects, though, good God. And again, main, the frame loss is mainly going to be from uh, the shadows at night. Arma really can't handle shadows that well. I still got tank rounds firing up at them too, which is nice. That's for sure. Anyone got eyes on that uh, hospital helicopter that just straight killed those two positions? Trebuchet to zero, uh, 10 seconds to splash. Enemy MI2s over base. Oh god, that's an MI2 that just went down. Okay. Guys, it's time to make a little bright light incident. AKA, go rescue the pilots. Because I'm about to, uh. uh Delta 6, this is Zero. Uh, are you currently co located at the uh, cash location? Uh, Charlie, over. We're about to be a little brutal. By all means, go out and try to rescue them. Alpha, Bravo, uh, just a quick sit right for you. We are going to be getting Charlie to set up a secondary line in order to support you. Uh, just behind you, if you look on the map, you'll see it marked as a red line. Love it. Alpha, copy. This is Charlie. Send it. Uh, be advised, trench line you marked in red, that is a ditch, not an elevated trench. We will not be able to cover Delta from TT, our current position. TT, thanks for the 38-month reset, my man. I hope to keep enjoying the operations. Position. I do okay. hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Roger, stop by. I'll get some. Yeah. April.
trying to vary up my units a bit more, especially with some AT proper around the uh, tanks, or at least where they're going to push. Still got that second gun to go go. Oh, was that a slight desync spike or? Honestly, it might have just been Drewski's flying. To be perfectly honest, it's hard to tell with all the uh, the assets microing around. Ah oh, man, what a day though this is gonna be. Because uh, later tonight we got Killcock too to uh, commentate on, where I get to relax, grab a cider, and chill with you guys as we watch uh, what 150, 200 people kill each other. I'm doing all right. Oh, there's Sunzi. He just started running, though. Up. We have a heart rate. You score up. He has a heart rate. We need blood. Gee, I go home! Yeah. Talk to us. Shit! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> from I the tried. <laughs> I even got him. Uh, Boom, I look like that. Uh, There's nobody here. Oh, he's All right, someone messaged me to try to stab him earlier. Myself. He's part of he, my guys, so we're able to pull bounties like that, but the the bayonet system isn't a hundred percent accurate. I have now turned this into a horror op. send one more wave of 55s. Time check wise, nine minutes till we can end at any time. Yeah, we'll do 76s, they're a bit easier. Armor's one job is to make sure these things die and they're doing a pretty good job of that. And if armor can't do it, air can certainly step up and take it, so. I'm gonna put that up to 45 for now. do one major attack on this flank because I don't think they've had a lot of accent, uh, action since they pulled back. Alpha, uh, HQ, this is Alpha coming. Send over. We have two squads, enemy squads, moving up northeast of our position and um, up to the wire. I'm going to send a few picket forces around. to the east, Charlie, inside the wire. Anything that, these are just pilots that crash landed. 
So the way uh, alternations, the way we're going to run this is Bravo is going to be taken over temporarily by Charlie. They're going to pull back and do a bit of a relief in place because of the low numbers and uh, the pagrin they've been taking by themselves. Uh, at some point, I'm going to try and do the same to Alpha, and then I will do, try and do the same as best as I oh. can to uh, Charlie do you think for Delta. Delta. Bravo can hold. John to do relief. We can hold. Right, if you, I, I still would like you to just pull back, do a brief resup and resupply, uh, sorry, resupply and then you can uh, sort of help plug gaps with. Don't worry, so we've, we've got, got this problem as well, right? We've got six uh, resupply crates right behind us, don't worry about us resupply. Right, Roger then. To that end, Charlie, if you just want to pull locate yourself with Bravo and just help plug up any gaps uh, to plug the numbers there. Yeah, I noticed a slight desyncing too, but I think it's fine otherwise. Now you're gonna have the long range tank fire here. Well, yeah, trickling them with smaller squads to move in so that a single grenade doesn't take them all out. Hit there. I'm looking around. The server itself might actually be destabilized and then stuff to call. I'm gonna delete the far units in case they're dragging frames out there, but beyond that... Yeah, I have no idea what's causing it. Uh, the flares basically last like 30 seconds, but then it's uh, times 8 on top of that, so it's a, a flare every 30 seconds to a minute. Because oh, it'll keep launching. Around on the wire. Yeah, so I think there's too many smoke effects going on right now, because when you see this, it means there's too many smoke grenades going out. So that's all of them, I think. I think there's a guy just running around on the front of your wire. I'm just curious as to why he was doing it. I just realized that, uh, never mind, disregard that now. So I think that's the reason the smoke particle count on the server is really, really high right now for some weird reason. Yeah, also, this trap on Alpha, we are quite clear of the attack, but the uh, enemy got quite close. But yeah, so now it's starting to. Uh, Relieve itself a little bit. Uh, Roger, a good work. Uh, we're near, we're, we should be nearly there, so uh, just continue to hold, and hopefully relief will be uh, in place shortly. Okay, yeah, copy. For now, like alpha situation is quite okay, I would say. We are not not many casualties, or as of now, no. comes the sun. No, of course, Dick, you watch this. Uh, the get blown away. We are medic That's down. not good. We need a medic over here to get him back up. Give me a position. Charlie, this is Delta. We're sending our medic. Charlie, position next to the Patton on the northwest side. Mac Marines Patton.
I'm also half tempted to charge a flame tank up to them. Let's let's have a little bit of fun with that. I appreciate that, dude. Oh man, what is causing that frame loss? It's definitely confined to that AO, but all right. What time did you get on Bravo Road? Should not have a couple of headbook issues. Uh, do we have any fix for that? Uh, for the ones that are specifically affected, just have them um, pin them and I can cable tie, uncable tie them to reset their animation and that should theoretically fix it. Over. Hey, um, I'll go run back and go find them. Literally, as soon as I stopped driving, that tank got sniped. At least they're trying to. Oh, this is what's causing that issue. It's a rocket that's in suspended animation. Chinook, possibly guns a go go. Yeah, believe me, I'm face bombing. I can hear Oh, I hear missed us. it! The jet and the plane crashed into That's each other! Yeah, they turned right into me, goddamn. Damn! That's the third mid air collision I've had in an operation. Oh, but I didn't catch it! Oh well. Here comes the PAVN. Yeah, okay, they are respawning. We got two bag of base. This is Charlie. I have eyes on a survivor from the crash. Permission to go out and rescue. Stand by. I don't think that's something that uh, you can call standby on. That's something that you need to tell them to either go for it or uh, pray to God they don't get overrun. I, Bravo's gonna go and get the pilots.
Oh, danger close. Pilots, if, tell the pilots to go east, northeast. I'm pretty sure that they're getting blue on blue, but... Boy. It's only Dolly. Whoa, we fixed the head bug issue. You can't be head bugged if you're dead, right? Easy. Calm. Yellow smoke is where the friendly pilots are up. Yeah. Almost I've got my air assets waved off uh, for the time being. Leaver's got one last push. Hey, oh, uh, 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 the They're fatal. everyone's having something to do. Oh, did the fourth one die too? Oh, that's a shame. I'll just sort of pop red smoke behind you so that my pilots can saturate the area. Unfortunately, Lero is evil. Lero is very evil. As negative on red smoke, target Willie Pete instead. How copy? Are all friendly possibly be behind you? A firm, with uh, more than 50 meters away. Hey, Best I can do. Stop by. Station. We have broken arrow in Bravo set. Broken. They're calling broken arrow on it. That was a decent Probably drag, I think. Any fucking air yeah. support for being overrun. Bravo 6, Bravo 6, pull yourself apart in amongst the wire. Please go ahead and put down the uh, We'll do, it'll take a second. So still uh, coming back from the fucking rest of the Oh, uh, tank got sniped.
start deleting everything to go all hands here. Just to try to optimize frames best I can, anything that's out and about. That's good. Send over. That tank's uh, this is all dead in the water. This is tank uh, between Alpha and Bravo position got destroyed. Enemy tank out in the field west, two to three hundred meters. If um, I will try and get you shortly. Sure, we have them. a tank moving in uh, on our northern side. Uh, our AT is down. That'll be the last one. Hey, from JTAX dispatching air assets. Stand by 30 seconds uh, till engagement. Charlie, request your uh, medic to uh, locate yourself just behind uh, the lines of the southern location. Over. Disregard last one. Got one task on it. Okay, now. Now we might have an opportunity. But I'm gonna have to be quick. Good shit, good shit. This is zero. Uh, so shiny, for zero, no such stuff. Uh, above RTOTRP4, there is, uh, Hill 215. Uh, above TRP4, uh, Hill 2. Problem, Charlie. Stop back to what is over. This is Charlie, A for I'm standing by. Oh, where'd it go? Bravo, over. Okay, we're gonna do The speed and intensity of that tank, I literally felt like I was first person in a non flame tank from Command and Conquer 3. That was awesome. Alright. Gonna trickle in some more close units here, but let's start wrapping this up. I 
by the way, Digby is going to be hosting up tomorrow on uh, the soft platform. I'll be playing on the ground, and there's not going to be any A's, which I got a lot of experience with with the RT Columbia boys on Sundays. So how copy. This is Charlie. What is that location? It is Bravo's former location at the southern tip. Over. A firm, 200 meters out. Oscar Mike out now. Many thanks. The good old Opal Wim Rimfree, you get an RPG, you get an RPG, everybody gets an RPG. Point mission, buddy, for me. Yep. I like it because I think we're also seeing engineers and whatnot go out and potentially loot stuff or uh, put in more AT and whatnot, but... Oop, good shot. Wow, that shredded those guys, damn. much in the wrap-up phase this has been a ton of fun to zeus hope you guys enjoyed watching again with the bigger ops it's hard for me to chat with you guys actively but i try my best put right in his face i don't think drewski would appreciate it if i shot him down with an rpg but i'm showing you guys I can still I'm make it ambient. I can still be mean. But again, my job isn't to be mean, it's to make sure everyone has fun. Except for that guy in the turret. He can die. Oh, that one way over. Huh. Let's try that again. There we go. That still went over. Does he notice me? Oh, yes he does. Oh, it's Mac Marine. Damn it, I could have actually hit him with that. Because he's one of my boys and I'm allowed to bully them. Is he trying to repair the... T no, he's taking an M60 too. That's funny. Roughly at our two hour mark for this. All right. All quiet on the Keysong front. Bravo, you have a tank up uh, two, two, five. Bloodwing sending me a bunch of stuff. All right. Noise. Platoon, this is high. Message over. They're stealing the tanks. Here, I'll try on 6 0. I was 6 0. Platoon, this is high on frequency 5 0. Message over. RTO2, Highcom, go ahead. Uh, be advised. That is it. We are index at this time. Over. Roger. 
You know, it helps if, uh, if Whiplash and Nemesis tell me what to do when we get this far. I don't know if we should index the server or <laughs> let me go find them, standby. Hey, Whip, when we're done, should we just index or... What's that? When we're done, should we just index or should I kill yeah. the server? Yeah, yeah, I'm, All right, I'm cool. currently testing with the veterans at the same time, but yeah. Yep, yep you're good, you're good. Alright, cool. Oh, well, I already called. I already called index. I thought we were done for the two hours, and they're calling it over the net. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. No worries. Yeah, we're uh, we've just gone and rearmed. Uh, we uh, post a mission con conclusion over. Uh, a firm mission's concluded. A firm. They told me to budget out two hours or so, so I budgeted out two hours. All right, <laughs> oh, done. Done. All right everyone. Yay. I hope you enjoyed nice. that operation. Shout out to Nemesis yeah, and Whip job. for letting me Zeus this one. Or, yeah, Zeus it because they were hosting, and I, again, hope you enjoyed it. Oh, that's Absolutely. pretty nice. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. My, voice, thank you. my voice hurts. I haven't shut up for the past two and a half hours. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, look, all right. Digby. Good Thank you for your that work. Tank was that was some good work. I do yeah. like Platoon Sergeant. Platoon Sergeant is fun. It is the most unsung job in it the world. It was a lot of fun. But there's a reason they give it to see the NCOs. What to was the your podcast? little naughty car? No. Veteran, you're hot making. Uh, uh, sorry. Vet veteran 29, you're hot like. I'd like to give a special thanks to Call Sign Zero there. Uh, did a very good job keeping things together on our net. Uh, so, thank you for that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, let me just do in the comms, please. I'm still here, yeah. yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, uh, with word in the comms, we call it ground comms and RTO. That can be a little bit confusing. Um, it might what? be easier to uh, do it by formations in the future for you. I'll, I'll talk just... with Nem and Whip about it. They're the ones that set the nets. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It was confusing, yeah. But, yeah. but it was awesome at the same time. Yeah, it was, yeah, it, it was because of that at the, at the start, there was a lot of confusion. We were yep. trying to get, and, and there were a lot of talking on the wrong nets. But as soon as I managed to sort of unfuck the comms and then establish mm -hmm. what the platoon net was, what the battle group net was, and what the air net was, which really wasn't a problem. Cheers for that, us. Uh, we started to sort of come together really well. Uh, Maybe. Big shout out for Whip and uh, Rick Barber who took over Charlie uh, for fighting out in that big trench. That, yeah, fucking uh, kept it going longer than I expected. Right. Um, uh, there is a live Q&A going on now with the Prairie Fire uh, devs and two Macby Sog veterans, Dick Thompson and uh, I think is Tilt. is Tilt joining us. For yeah, that. Tilt. Cool. Um, I'm going to go and do that. I highly recommend the rest of you listening. Yeah, that's where I'm um, to now. And I will see you in a bit. Bye. 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 All right. That's a shame. I wish I could get on that, but that's a okay. I'm just the Zeus. Anyway, guys, we'll be back in about four hours for Kill Cog. I'm going to grab a few beers, and we're going to watch about 150 or 200 players kill each other. All under Karma Cuts community. And I get to relax because we just get to watch for that one. And I can chill with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally, enjoy your Saturday, cheers, and have a good one.